Huh, Captain Buttfuck decided to show up. And what, without the rest of Team Shit Show? Hmm, good luck. Oh, don't be like that. Hey, 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 sweet cheeks. Will you get my friend here a drink? Just a water, man. Not beer? Two beers? Oh, this is a prime player in my spank bank. Dude's got an ass like a woman. So fucking licious. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Pop, 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 pop. Pro tip, you intimidate them, you get faster service. <laughs> you know you could do the same thing with a smile and a compliment? Hey, man, that was really fast. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You fucking fake. At least I'm honest. You're a goddamn swindler. <laughs> You're a swindler, too. That's why you brought me here? Hmm? What if I told you there was a bunch of homeless people prowling the streets, their bodies infused with experimental nanotech? I mean, think about the kind of exposing and the uh, truthing you dead sec D bags could do with that kind of information. I mean, an army of robo hobos that don't make you wet. For real though? For real. It's called Project Rensense. How do you know about this? Because the first volunteers were from my crew. Oh, your crew. The first rule of asshole club is don't talk about asshole club. Ha 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 ha. Here's the thing about biohackers, right? We want to be pioneers, so we take big risks. The Ren sent. We had a lot of really sick grinders and nothing cool to show for it, so we stopped volunteering. And I'm supposed to believe that Ren sent just turned and started kidnapping homeless people? Sort of. You'd be amazed what a bum will do for access to a mobile clinic. Fuck off. You're just trolling me. It's nanotech. It's transmitting a tracking signal. 910 megahertz. Go ahead. Scan it with your UHF. I'll wait. Okay, so what? Your little vial is transmitting. It's been real fun, Lenny, but I'm not crawling in the mud with you. Oh, you totally are. Don't call me again. You're an ambulance chaser. You can't resist this. Hey, Marcus. Welcome to Asshole Club. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Oh. I think I gotta check out Lenny's info on the homeless deaths. It doesn't hurt to check it out. There's a lot of interest in nanotech in the Bay Area. Many people believe it's the next major step in human evolution and body modification. Plenty of biotech companies are experimenting with it. Sounds like you know a bunch about this kind of thing. I want wings. Can I get wings? Can you imagine me with wings? That would be so awesome. That's theoretically possible, however, unlikely in the near term. All I'm hearing is a lot of blah, blah, blah. Yes, you can have wings, Wrench. Stop pestering Josh. <laughs> Come on, wouldn't you want wings? Wings! No, you know what kind of hell that would be managing clothing with wing holes in the back? No, what I'd want is nanotech tattoos. They can change their patterns. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. That's much more likely to happen. We may even have the technology for it already. <laughs> Rock on! Matching dead sec nanotech tattoos. Alright, so hello everybody. Welcome back. I think this car's quiet. Yeah. Uh, uh, welcome back to Watch Dogs 2. Uh, as you can see, we're not doing a main mission today. I was looking at it. Because uh, this is the other DLC mission that I unlocked. Uh, for doing that Hacker Wars or whatever. Uh, and it sounded really interesting, so I figured I'd do this instead of the uh, main mission today. Next week we'll be back to main mission, and then, you know, we'll switch off with the side missions and whatnot again. Uh, but yeah, recording this one a little bit earlier than I usually do, and by a little bit earlier, I mean I'm recording this on the day that the last one came out. I'm recording this a week ago. Uh... And I imagine it'll keep happening like that. My uh, recording schedule is going to be a little fucky, but my release schedule shouldn't change. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Everything should still come out at the right time, assuming I don't fuck anything up. I'm at the homeless encampment now, guys. Time to start digging. Yeah, we did some digging of our own. Anything good? No, but a lot of bad. Higher than average deaths among the homeless population. A noticeable spike. Oh, that's definitely bad. Alright, so the reason I came back here is because I can hear fucking Fortunate Sun playing. Which isn't good because, once again, I have my fucking music turned off. 
So why the fuck is there music playing? Why the fuck is there copywritten music playing? Yeah, what do you want? And I don't know where the fuck the thing is to shut it off, unfortunately. Just wanted to learn more about it. Oh my god. So I'm probably going to get copywritten on this one, because, you know, YouTube's good enough to pick that up, even if I talk over it usually, but I mean, can only... Try and hope for the best, well, you know, just try and drown it out. Maybe I'll just cut the audio from here. As you know, fucking Watch Dogs 2 here, you know, shut off music volume, shut off everything else. Still will play music whenever the fuck it feels like it. That seems kind of weird. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, how hard is it? Like, I know that they like people doing shit on YouTube for them. I mean, they bring YouTubers out to their fucking offices to play new games and whatnot, and yet they still couldn't get their fucking shit together enough that when music is off, to turn the whole fucking music off. Yeah, yeah. Good God. Are you done, Marcus? Thanks, man. I'm just gonna skip that because I need to find this fucking radio or something. Because I mean, I. Uh, come Looks on. like I better go find Marty. Let's see, where the fuck could this music be coming from? I mean, it's sounds like it's come. I don't know. Oh, is it over? Nope. up there fuck okay so I need to find Marty and I have no fucking clue how to do that now what have we here a pamphlet all about free medical clinics <laughs> why yes I'd love to know all about that <laughs> all right oh here's a someone Hey, he said something about laying down, right? Hey, buddy, you doing okay? Yeah, 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 fine. Just uh, can't see straight right now. You want me to take you to the ER or something? No, talk show will just make it worse. I was fine before the doctor. Did you go to the free medical clinic? Or are you saying you felt worse after you went? Ah, oh, nurse said the shots make, made me feel sick for a few days. Yeah, I guess. Shit. I'm not going back. Uh, I saw what it did to Marty and Josephine. Hey, Marty and Josephine? Joe's dead. Marty will be soon. Do you, you know where I can find Marty? Oh, uh, he's lying on a couch nearby. Lay down yesterday. Hasn't moved since. Oh, poor fucker. Is it just me or did that guy sound like the Joker? Hang in there, man. Like the Telltale Games Joker. Not... Not Mark Hamill Joker. Oh god, he's up there. All right. Uh, can I get up here? Look, that looks doable. Not by me, but I mean by Marcus here. Uh, would you consider this nearby? I mean, I guess you know it's not that far away, but I still wouldn't consider that nearby. Shit, man. Hey, hey, you want some help? I'm all right. Doc says I'm good. I'm doing fine. Just will see me again next week. <coughs> the doc at the mobile clinic? Yeah. You need something, kid? Look, I'm 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 actually just trying to find out more about the clinic. What they're injecting people with. I don't know. Just shots. But when I, I saw one of the docs threw away the injector gun thingy, it's in a yellow can. Somewhere around here. Hey, that's useful information. Thanks, man. Sure. It's a big sure. teddy bear. Okay, so now I need to find a yellow can to find the injector. Injection gun. Looking for an injection gun in a yellow trash can. Sure. Sounds easy enough. Right? Now the real... Okay, well, that guy's playing guitar, so there's no way that's copywritten. Uh... What about in here? It's probably up high again, isn't it? Uh, I would imagine so. It looks like there's a ladder here. Okay. Uh, no yellow can. We got a weird yellow tent, I guess. That doesn't seem to have an entrance. That's weird for a tent. 
okay, not up here. What about over here? Because if they're not here... Now, I imagine that this probably, like, the hacker vision there probably wouldn't help me find it. I don't know why it would. Uh, but I also... Good God, Marcus, you really got to do that all the time? Like, do the flips really help you do anything? Okay, yellow... I mean, here's a orange can, I guess. It's not a yellow barrel, though. Blue. Oh! Wow, right at the edge, man. Like, holy hell. Really? Right at the edge of the investigation area. Uh, that doesn't look like standard shots, but... I mean, it feels like I'm in a cyberpunk sci-fi movie. Uh. Uh, okay. Hey, Josh. I found an injection gun. The guy I talked to said this is what they've been using at the clinic. Excellent. Sending you data now. I'm using it to update the scanning app Lenny showed you. You should be able to use it to scan for more nanotech. That would be useful. Yes. Mm. Looks like they do broadcast. You should be able to use your phone to track down where people with nanotech have been. As you get closer, the signal will get stronger. Yeah, well, I mean, they also leave a very clear trail. Oh. Oh, here we go. Jared. He's in a box. That's always good. Good. So is he missing a leg? No, it just his leg went through his pants. Hey, or, anybody sure. in there? No. Town just gave yourself away, dude. I thought maybe saying no might give you the clue that I didn't want to talk. Fine, fine. Look, I'm just trying to find the mobile clinic. Oh, no, don't do that. Shit, look, Greg, don't do that. <clears throat> Listen, you may be stupid, but no one deserves that. Don't go to the clinic. I just want to find out more about it. Yeah, they trick people into free healthcare, inject us with tiny machines, and watch to see if we live or die. Ah, you know it all. That was uh, a lot of information. I know it sounds crazy. The police didn't believe me either. But the clinic staff, they heard me. <laughs> and now they're trying to kill me. That's why you hiding out in the back, cave. Hey? Oh! Oh! If anyone asks, you didn't see me. Right. <laughs> wow. Nanotech. Fuck. Lenny may be right. Nanotechnology could solve hundreds of medical problems. Diabetes, blindness, deafness, autism. Not to mention enhancements to our natural abilities. Yeah, all of that is pretty cool. But doing research on the homeless, without observing humane testing conditions... Yeah, would you do it? You try nanotech for, you know... Being non-neurotypical? Maybe. The experiment would be worthwhile, but only if it were reversible. I like who I am. I might not like who I would be if I didn't have Asperger's. Yeah, that's a good point. How much of that shapes who you are? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, right, where he's functional, right? Like, he's more than functional. But then again, I also don't know exactly what Asperger's does, so, I mean. Because having something like that, obviously, would shape your personality quite a bit and shape who you are. But, you know, you would still be you even without Josh. it, right? Yes. Our friend Marty, aside from being completely passed out and scanning positive for nanotech, looks like there's an injection wound on his wrist. And what do you want to bet they injected nanotech right into his bloodstream? I wouldn't be surprised. I guess I'm not surprised either. Okay, so I think I gotta go this way. Because I started up there and it would have led me across. Or no, it did. I start? Um, okay, that's weird. Okay, is there like a dead guy down there or something? There might be, actually, a dead guy down there. Okay, let's get this going. Uh, because, I mean, the one trail goes down here. But I don't see a point where it comes out. So... Oh, oh. Okay. What the hell did I just pick up? Jackpot. 
think I found that bag the dog stole. A dog like stole a bag. Clinic doctors is gonna be missing their bag. Anything useful in it? Comb, gum, clip a card, and official staff ID, complete with barcode. This is gonna be useful, I bet. Okay. What did we find out that a dog stole a bag? I mean. Uh, was that a thing that that first guy we talked to told us that I didn't get to hear because I was too busy trying to talk over Fortunate Son, which is a shame because it's a really good song. Uh, but yeah, I really wish they got their shit together for this game. Thankfully, you know, you know, because other Ubisoft game I'm playing right now is Assassin's Creed Ancient Egypt, no copyright right music. Definitely nanotech research going on here and not the authorized kind. I would agree. We need to track down whoever's behind this and shut them down. Best bet for that is the mobile clinic. One of our scouts saw mobile clinics in the Prescott area. On it. Alright. Where exactly is the Prescott area? I mean, I've been playing this game for a bit now, but I still don't know, you know, San Francisco. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, let's see. What is the closest place, or how far away? I think I'll just drive it. Good to see you. Yeah, same. So, fill me in. What have you found? Honestly, looks like your standard run-of-the-mill medical clinic. They do have some computers set up, of course. Expect you'll find more info once you hack into their system. And the doctors carry around these data pads. Those probably have info, too. Seems likely. All right. I didn't actually see the mobile clinic when I got here, but I imagine that it's probably around somewhere, right? Weird that it's a restricted area. Data pad. Good call. Yeah. Weird that it's a restricted area. I mean, we did get, like, a whole key card thing or something, right? And, I mean, if it's supposed to be a free clinic... Also, is it moving? It is moving. Uh, where the... Speaking of moving, where the fuck did my vehicle... I really hate that they move your vehicle. Like, I understand that they might need to do that. Uh, is that it? That might be it right there, actually. Like, I understand that they might need to do that for certain things and that, but, like, it wasn't in the road there. I mean, like, why did it need to do that? Oh, and there's another hack thing over there. So, you know what? I'll just do this. Okay, but to hack that, and there's a jammer, but there's a physical hack there. Uh, okay. Still don't understand why it's a restricted area if uh, it's supposed to be a free medical clinic, but you know, whatever. Uh, I guess, you know, because video game. And it would be too easy if it wasn't. Okay, now hopefully I can get this hacked. Okay, get that in there. And... Okay, good to go there. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Uh, where the hell did that, there it is. Got it. Okay, so what exactly am I doing here? I need this prick. Oh my God, he's shitting me. Why do I have to be there? Like why, why can't just the fucking drone be there? Like, what a worthless fucking thing. Like, why even let me do it from the drone if I have to get there? Like, seriously, why bother? It makes no fucking sense that I can, you know, start it if I'm immediately going to be out of range of it. Like, and it says before reset, but, like, do you think it, like, actually hard resets or what? Okay, so hopefully I can retrieve data quickly. Because then if, I, if it goes quick enough, this guy shouldn't be able to uh, get out of range. Uh, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. You're turning. Oh, he stopped. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm not in the restricted area. I almost fucked that up. Well, I mean, I didn't. Okay, just stick on this side of the building. I wonder if I could knock him out. I don't remember if you can do that in this game or not. 
There we go. Got it. And it's winging its way to. We'll get right on this. I have it. Decoding the encryption shouldn't take long. Okay. Got it. Ren sends us keeping people prisoner. They have several of the missing homeless under observation in their facility. I guess that explains the disappearances. Okay, well, what the hell am I doing now then? Found it. Time to put these guys out of business. And leave a little virus to remember us by. Uh, so long as they don't actually remember us. Or I one down. Okay. So long as they don't actually remember us. Or identify us at all. Yeah. Figure of speech, Josh. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Police are trying to keep this whole thing pretty quiet. Yeah? News stations are being told it's some sort of minor illness among the homeless population. Of course. Regular citizens shouldn't be worried. Right. Who cares about the homeless? All the deaths do seem to occur within a three-mile radius of known mobile clinic locations. Yeah. I mean, that. to be fair, in real life even, that's what you would do if you want to get away with something like this, is you would go after the homeless people because, like they said, who gives a fuck, right? Uh, God. Okay, so I need to get to these things here. This doesn't seem... Well, I mean, except for the fact that there's two fuckers there. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I need to, uh... There we go. So there's two guys here. So I kind of need to do that. And then... Come on, I need to target the... Okay, got him. The other two went somewhere, but they were red, but they're not showing up on my mini-map as enemies, so... Like, were they really enemies, or what? Like, that was weird. Okay, got that one. That's two. And the other one is on the right-hand side, right? Make it, Marcus. Make it. Put a little pep in your step there, buddy. Get your ass moving. Oh, God. Oh, really? He fucking turned around? Of course he did. Goodbye. Oh, what the hell's... Oh, there's a cop going above. All right. Underneath the freeway. I was like, no, why is there a cop coming? But yeah, that's right. That makes sense. Okay, so it looks like there's three guys here. This guy here, we think is another jammer. He is. Oh, uh, fuck you. Oh, Marcus, just quickly do this and we'll get the fuck out. Three down. Isn't that it? Yeah, I was going to say three down. That makes it sound like there's more. Okay, let's just go this way, go this way. Oh, nice, there's a boat. Oh, 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 shit. Take. That's fine. I think we'll be good. Uh, it's the security corps. Side core, whatever. I should be good, I would think. I don't think that they'll chase me over the water. If it was cops, they would. Because I know there's police boats, but I don't think that the security guys would be able to. Uh, this can't be all of it, right? I mean, uh, there's no way that this is the entirety of the of the mission. I mean, so far the other DLC missions have been much longer than this. Like, this wasn't even 20 minutes. Well, probably about 20 minutes. Ugh. I mean, the last one, like, the last DLC mission I did was a fucking video in itself, because it was close to it. It was like 40-some minutes, I think. So this would be... Because, I mean, it's just getting interesting. <laughs> Like, I want to see some of this nanotech in action. Turn it into, like... Oh. I'll meet you at the Rensense building. Sounds good. Anyone else want in on this? Wrench and Satara are working on their own projects. <laughs> cool. 
So I'll meet you there and we'll see what we can do about freeing some people and destroying some nanobots. It's a plan. Hmm. Good old Marcus Josh team up. Don't see that very often. Wait, was that a fucking... There's a research point. Oh, right, that's the one I don't know how to fuck to get to. Okay. Back into the... At Why is there 12 now? Oh, wow, we are actually almost done that, according to this. Okay, put the waypoint there. That's going to be a long fucking drive, so I think I'll just fast travel this time. Uh, but yeah, like he said, like, nanotech there, that would be great, but it would, like, it's putting tiny robots into your body for this kind of nanotech, right? Um, and if you could get them working right, that would be perfect. But think about all the shit that goes wrong with computers. Now imagine that going wrong with thousands of little robots that's literally in your body. Like... It, if it works, it would be fantastic. If it goes wrong, it's going to go real wrong. Like, that's just it, right? Like, uh, they would definitely need somebody to make, me. like, so many... What are you talking about, somebody help me? Unless this was your car, you should have no fucking clue that, you know, it's not mine. Is, was it? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck just went wrong there. All right, let's see what uh, Marcus and Josh team up does. Rent sense. I don't even know, like, is that supposed to stand for something? Hey, thanks for letting me come along, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, man. Nanotech is pretty cool. Be fascinating to see what they're doing. Except, of course, they should be doing it ethically. Well, aren't you the cutest thing? Uh, gee, thanks, Lenny. I didn't know you felt that way, except I really don't want to go into your spank bank. Not you, shit cake. Little Mr. Spectrum here. Me? Oh. You don't mean me. Yeah, uh, he can't go into your spank bank either. Oh, I just want to pinch your little cheeks. Oh, please don't. Oh, you're like a little puppy. I always wanted a puppy. Do you want to come work for me? No. What do you want, Lenny? Uh, besides harassing Josh. Oh, you are no fun at all. I want what I've always wanted. Whatever Ren sense is hiding in there. They are beyond the cutting edge of transhumanism. They are the bleeding edge. Oh, fuck your pansy ass sensibilities. I was right about the homeless people, wasn't I? You need me. I know access codes. I know how their systems work. Yeah? Why'd you call DeadSec then? Because I need human shields? That's not very nice. Well, I'm not very nice. Except to you, sugar. Oh, you are wasting your time with those D-bags. See, the thing is, I have the Super brain. Super creepy. I just need the brawn and someone to back me up in the hacking. And even though Captain Butt fucking annoys the piss out of me, he can hack his way out of a paper bag. I'm flattered. Well, whatever. We gonna do this or what? Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I was thinking... Josh and I... No, 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 no. We're not risking him. Sugar Plum stays put. But... Nope, it is just the two of us. Unless you're not up to the challenge. You're totally gonna turn on me after this, aren't you? <gasps> of course I am. And what is up with you and Josh? Hmm? He reminds me of someone. I just really wanted to see the nanotech. Oh, sweetie. I will let you look at any nanotech I liberate, okay? I promise. So creepy. Move it, shit widget. Shit widget? Move! I'm in. Bye. No, go ahead. What were you saying? No. Oh. <laughs> Apparently he liked that. God, please. Josh, no, not, not Lenny. Looks like this is the research lab. Finally. Oh, I'm hurt, Lenny. I thought we were having a moment. Ah, oh, don't flatter yourself. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, can you imagine the sheer quantity of tech man in the right here? Oh my. Like oh my. Shop. Hey, we're here to help people. Oh, of course. I'm all about helping Why is people. it purple? And guess what? I'm a people. Like... Why, like, oh, is, like, Lenny gonna be doing part of this hack or something? Am I moving too fast for you? Your poor little neuron can't keep up. Oh, must be a low 
Hey, I don't have to fucking help you, bitch. Nope, I'm good. That one, get that one going. Now, would you like your thing back? There you go. You wanna know why I'm here? Why I care about this shit? Because it can make us better, smarter, faster, more aware of the world around us. Don't you want that? It can make our lives longer, prevent us from getting hurt or sick. Hey, those are all nice ideas, but I'm not buying it. You think the world can continue like it is forever? You think we aren't about to burn out the planet with wars and waste? Nanotech can clean up the environment, repurpose the toxic shit we're putting into the air all the fucking time and make it useful. That may be, but that's not what Rensense was doing and you know it. They were trying to come up with cool toys for rich people to buy and they were using poor people's lives to do it. All right, you go hack the computer on the right side of the room. She's fucking door. slow as shit cool. hacking that. Pizza while I'm at it? Like, that was fucking brutal how slow she was. I had my shit done and was just waiting on her ass. Yo, you stuck? Are you stuck? <laughs> shit, fuck, fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Lenny got in first. Fine. We just need a plan that's better than hers. Didn't her plan seem to be, grab shit I want? Shouldn't be hard to have a better plan. I need to find the shutdown code for the nanobots. Our antidote, if you will. And free any people they may be using for experiments. Right. Plus destroy all the nanotech I can find here, or they'll just go out and do it all over again. Wipe their research data, <laughs> and keep an eye on Lenny. Lenny wants their nanotech for her own uses. And I don't oh, trust oh Lenny God. any further than I can throw her. It's unlikely you could throw her far. She outweighs you. That is entirely true. I wouldn't put it past her to have some of her little friends show up. Or use any nanotech she finds on other people just for shits and giggles. That does seem to be in keeping with her general personality profile. Yep. Totally lame. Glad we agree. Be advised. We Got it. Looks like they really are keeping prisoners. Oh, excuse me. Experiment subjects trapped here. Jesus. Fuck me. Of course I got yeah, What? Who the believe. fuck is... What else did you find? Approximate Why the fuck do you have that gun out, Marcus? Why the fuck would you pull out a sniper rifle? You're in a goddamn building. What the hell is wrong with you? Jesus fucking Christ. Are you kidding me? I mean, I was probably dead either way, but come on. I need to shoot a guy three feet away from me on some stairs and you pull out a sniper rifle and look the wrong way? Like... Fuck me. I gotta say, the sneaking around in this one, not as good as it was in the original Watch Dogs. Yeah, it's like a party, just with nanotech and people dying. Best day of my life. Nah, 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 no need to pout, just because I got in first, because I'm a better hacker than you. You're you a shit believe hacker. In that. Maybe it'll make it true. Oh, it's true, all right. I just needed you to be the muscle brawn, not brains. I mean, if I needed brains, I would have asked your little friend. Josh, you mean? Taylor, what the hell was with that? I was seriously worried you were about to molest him or something. Reminds me of someone I used to know. Somebody's got to be protected from all the shit snatches in this world. Wow, Lenny, that was almost sweet. Ah, fuck you. And that's the Lenny we all know and love. Okay, now can I hack this thing finally? Thanks. We've had some promising results from our experiments with managing blood glucose levels. This could be an excellent mark. Looks like I have our first container of nanotech. What now? Find the valves on the container. Got them. Then you hack them and increase the internal pressure. And then shit blows up. All right, little robots. Time to go boom. Okay, I... Who the fuck keeps spotting me? Man, there is a lot of fucking security here. Which, you know, to be fair, makes perfect sense. But, you know. Of course it's a physical hack. Why wouldn't it be? because it doesn't fucking see shit. Man, the security cameras in this game are fucking blind. Ugh. Okay. So I just did... Okay, what am I doing here? Oh my, what is this? I understand the shift from animal to human test subjects. We'll certainly get results faster. If anyone from the regulatory board finds out, we'll be in deep trouble. Seriously deep trouble. I mean, it's not like anyone would particularly miss the people we're selecting as subjects, but the 
ethics board gets so overexcited about human experimentation. Or found out, it can ruin my career. Yeah, I mean, shockingly enough, people don't like it when you experiment on other people. I freed our buddies. Some of them look really confused. Yeah, well, a little robot scrambling up your brains can do that. But we are going to fix that. We sure are. Can you find them a safe path out of here? Make sure doors are open. On it. You fucking suck, by the way, security guard bitch. Like, you didn't come. Like, you. there's no way that I should have got away with that. I just can't believe this. Really? In another fucking lifetime, maybe? Guards! That's the dumbest fucking thing. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, bring it, guard. Bring it. I'll knock you the fuck out. Nope. You'll just go away. Because you're also stupid, just like you're the other chick there that I knocked out. Hey, we got a hacker who wants a push. That no, you didn't see me. What? Why the fuck do you have a gun? Oh, don't send more cars. Okay, I just need to try and knock them all out. Okay, so they think that I'm that way. Oh god. No, I think they saw me. Come on, get him, get him, knock him out, thank you. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. I don't think that I'm safe here at all. Fuck, he still has the sniper rifle out. God damn it, Marcus. Fuck. Should check that before, but Jesus Christ. Why? Why do you have the sniper rifle out? I mean, it makes no fucking sense that you would have that out. Also, I don't know where that scientist got a fucking gun from. That was bullshit. I do like, though, that, you know, when I'm in an area that I'm not supposed to be in, the, uh, the dickhead scientist will fucking call me. Fuck you, are you kidding me all the way back? Fuck you. Alright, so... I guess I got everyone because Marcus is now running. So yes, I did go around and just knocked out everyone. Like literally everyone. C civilians, soldiers, security, didn't matter. And I'm going to keep doing it because they pissed me the fuck off. So everybody gets knocked out. Nobody wakes up in the morning without a fucking splitting headache. And that's what they get for pissing off me. Uh, I don't know what that's about. Uh, it's amazing how long civilians will stick around, by the way. Like, you'll knock out one, there'll be, like, two right next to them, and they'll wait their turn, and I'll just get knocked out. It's like a kung fu movie, you know? Where, uh, you know, there's the one guy kicking everyone's ass, but all the bad guys still... Did I just get stuck in the same fucking camera? But everyone still waits their turn to fight him, you know? Uh... None of them have been able to take him out yet, but you know, this next guy, he's got it for sure. Okay, uh, there we go. I freed our buddies. Some of them look really confused. Yeah, well, a little robot scrambling up your brains can do that. But we are going to fix that. We sure are. Can you find them a safe path out of here? Make sure doors are open. On it. Who said what? I'm sorry, I didn't understand that with all those teeth missing. Fuck you two. Just for being associated with him. Go fuck yourself. Alright. What is this? Is this gonna be the this is probably be the deactivation code, eh? I see the code now. We should go back to the homeless camp and use this to save them. We're here. What have you got for us? The cure for our friends back at the homeless encampment? It should deactivate the nanites. Once they're inert, they'll pass out of the body harmlessly. You mean these guys are gonna be pooping out robots? Always keeping it classy, Wrench. Okay, I don't know what's gonna blow up. 
a little worried. Oh, nope, missed it. That. Oh, I see a couple more people. You know what? On the uh, at the same time, these guys deserve this. I mean, look at what they're doing, right? Doing human experiments, making people sick, kidnapping homeless people, keeping them prisoner. Like, come on, fuck these guys. There we go. Now I have justification for knocking everyone out. What the hell is this? Okay, apparently I can't do that yet. Maybe I don't. Oh, oops, hit the wrong button there. Did I not? Oh, I don't have enough point. Or it's not over loaded enough, I guess. There it is. There we go. Realize how much research went into this? How many hours? I realized they were experimenting on people illegally and killing them. Not all of them. And what are a few lives against thousands or millions? Against a cure for diabetes or epilepsy or cancer? Didn't think about that, did you, Boy Scout? For all you know, they're developing nanobots that can eat cancer cells and prevent it from spreading. Then they should go through medical trials, like all the chemo drugs and other experimental cancer treatments. And it's not like that's what you're here for. Oh, yeah? How do you know? How can you know what matters to me? You mind reader all of a sudden? You want to tell me you know my body better than I do? Or better than my doctor does? What the shit? Hey, I didn't know. You have cancer? Nah, bitch, just fucking with you. <laughs> well, real piece of work. I think we've already had that one. See so, how can I hack these things again finally? Okay. There's one, there's two, and the other one should be up there. And there goes some more. If you get Say through this before me, you're just gonna destroy all the research and tech, aren't you? Damn right Another I am. Blackout. What they're doing is unethical, and it's not like the tech works. It's killing people. You destroyed the research, and all those deaths are in vain. You think on that. See, I've actually thought on that before with other stuff. Because, like, you know, for example, the Nazis, right, way back when, they did a fuck ton of experiments. That actually led to a lot of medical breakthroughs in that. But it killed a lot of fucking people. And then there are some that are, like, is it ethical to use that research because of all the lives that were lost? It was, and here's the reasoning behind them not wanting to, right? It's not that, because the reasoning most people used to use is because, same as that, right? They're already dead. If they don't use the research, then they literally died in vain. And there was no purpose uh, for their deaths. Whereas if you at least use the research, then at least something good came of their death. But... Oh. Why are you so into this stuff anyway? Why aren't you? Anyone with half a brain would be interested. I mean, of course, that rules out most of you dead sex from us. Huh. <sighs> okay. But... I blew up their nanobots and freed their prison. Oh, I've God. tracked down their backup servers and can make sure their data files are corrupted. Hey, good work. Now to get out of here. I've tracked Lenny's path out. You need to retrace her steps and get out the back door. I can keep you from being detected that way. Oh god, are these guys- wait, did these guys actually wake up when I knocked them out like this? I don't think so. Um, but at the same time, right, and this is the reason people used to not use that research, right, is it validates what they did to acquire that research, you know? So it's like, yes, if you don't use it, all their deaths were in vain, but if you She's do use out, it, Marcus. that validates it for hurry. people to She's do it again in the future. I'll try to slow her down. <laughs> Good, man. I'll be there soon. We don't want Lenny running wild with shit tons of nanotech. She can't use it all on herself. She can use it on her followers or sell it. Yeah, yeah. without any warnings that it may not be fully tested. I'm on it, Marcus. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, no, how about this one? Uh, okay, but that's a physical hack. Oh, okay, well, how the fuck do I get in there? Ah, there it is. Um, so yeah, it's one of those things, right? Where it's like, all those people died if you don't use it. You know, they died for nothing. But if you do use it, then that gives someone in the future justification to do, you know, all that horrible shit. Again, you know, for medical reasons, for science, for the advancement of mankind, you know? And I mean, I've always been on the fence about it. But, you know, in all honesty, I'd rather... 
you know, use the research and not have their deaths be in vain and uh, worry about somebody else doing it again in the future. I mean, it's getting harder and harder to get away with this shit. So, I mean, it's not like it's super easy to just go and kidnap a bunch of people or kill a bunch of people without being caught and experimenting on them, you know? All right. Is that the nanotech? Mm-hmm. Mama found her babies. Can I see it? Uh, no time. Oh. Okay. Are you gonna fucking puppy dog me now? Oh, Jesus. Fine. Here. He's gonna disable it all now, Take isn't he? Wow. There must be thousands of dollars of nanotech in there. <laughs> you are so cute. Try hundreds of thousands. Okay, show and tell's over. Gotta go. Hey, what the, was that? Yes. You didn't stop her? <laughs> you straight played her! Don't fuck with the hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a line from a Cisco movie. Damn, that's my boy. Wow, I think that's the blackest Marcus have, has ever been. Like, Jesus Christ. You should pack a punch for the PRV. Experimenting on the homeless, people dying, illegal nanotech. Yeah. Crazy shit. All right, let's see what DeadSec makes of this one. Let's destroy, what is it called, Rensen? In the next 10 years, you will be bombarded with the promises of nanotechnology. Miracle health solutions, anti-aging treatments, psychological tuning. The dream? By 2040, humanity may be rendered immortal. The cost? Installing a vulnerable operating system in your own body and handing over the controls to a corporation interested only in selling and maintaining nanotech. Corporations like Rensense. Rensense. Testing has only just begun in its current form, and testing requires guinea pigs. Rensense took your homeless, tempest tossed your wretched refuse, and injected them with experimental nanotech. They asked them to sign away their legal protections in exchange for free medical care. DedSec has uploaded everything we know about this scam to your usual depots. We have given you the truth. Do what you will. Mm. Mission complete. That was a good one. I like that one. I like that the end where you actually had Lenny fucking with you while you hacked. Granted, I think that they could have done more with it than just, you know, have certain doors locked off or just having her do a lockout every once in a while. I feel like they could have done a little bit more than that. Achievement! Because nobody plays the DLCs. <laughs> like, literally, that's it. That's the only reason why that's, an, why that's a rare achievement is because nobody plays DLC for games anymore, it seems. Or at least very few people do. Which I understand because a lot of games come out in very short amounts of time. Like, it's fucking insane. Uh, how often games come out nowadays. And I mean, that's one of the reasons why I generally don't even like to get... Like, there's very few games that I'll want on release, right? And for the most part, they'll, they will be games that either I know will take me a very long time to beat and therefore I'll still be playing it when DLC comes out. Uh, for example, like Skyrim or Fallout, you know, I never finish with those games. I'm always ready to play them. Um, but games like Watch Dogs 2 here, I didn't get this when it first came out. Not even close. Uh, in all honesty, even though I enjoyed the first one an insane amount, I didn't want this one when it first came out. Uh, because I knew there would be DLC for it. And, uh... Okay, I don't know how to get up this building, but whatever. And, uh, I didn't want to, uh, you know, play the game, get through it all, and then, you know, however long later, just not have, like... Not because I don't keep track of shit. Like I am very bad at 
keeping up to date on stuff. Um, so, like, when a game that I've enjoyed and played has DLC come out, I may very well not know that. Why can't I use my RC there? there go. Uh, like, I literally... Oh, God. That may very well be something that I have no clue about. Uh, because, like I said, I'm fucking garbage at keeping track of stuff like that. Like, I don't keep up to date. So it's very rare. Uh, I think it'd be faster just to do this at this point. So, you know, I much prefer having a game. Oh, God, no. Uh, so, like, I much prefer having a game, like, a little bit after release. And by a little bit, I mean, like, a few months after release. Because then at that point, and then I don't run into stuff like Assassin's Creed Unity, right? When that game came out, it got shit all over because of glitches and that. I got it a few months after release. It was fine. It was perfectly fine. There was nothing wrong with it. I had next to no issues with it. Uh, oh, like bug-wise. Um, it was fine, right? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, same with, like, Mass Effect Andromeda. I did actually get that one when it first came out because it was Mass Effect. Oh, did I get this? Fuck me. I hate how little control you have over the RC car in there. Um, but I mean, and even when I first came out, like a lot of people, ugh, fuck me, bitched about bugs in that, in that game too. And I very, didn't have very many, but you know what? All it takes is one person getting a bug. Ugh, fuck. And having some like decent presence on the internet. And it does actually, you know, it doesn't, all it takes is somebody getting a bug in a game. And uh, posting about it online. And the internet will tear that game a new one. Like, it's ridiculous. Uh, but like I said, uh, I prefer to get my games a little bit in the future. Because then uh, the, all the bug fixes are out. The game runs a lot smoother. And uh, the DLC for it's out. And then I can just like buy the season pass or something and be done with it. I don't need to worry about... Uh, new stuff coming out later after I've lost interest in the game or after I've uh, started doing other stuff or playing other games, you know. Uh, then, you know, I just don't have to worry about it, right? Uh, but I think that'll be it for this part. Uh, I don't think that it'll be even close to an hour, but oh well. What? Uh, we did the DLC, and I don't know, I don't think, that, I think it'll be close enough to an hour that another mission would take too long, you know? Uh, so, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.